Hi guys, um, I have packages today. And apparently, um, a shirt that I had ordered from Beyond the Rack, and this does happen every once in a while. This is the third time it's happened, but it, within a span of like a year and a half. So, and not to mention, like, I buy so much, I can't get too upset. And actually, I, I happened to notice that the thing, the item, it was a shirt, um, and it was 12 or 12.99 and plus, like, it was a total of 18 something, um, with tax and shipping, but I caught it way too big, so I was already worried that it it was going to be wildly too big. So they're going to put the, you know, money back into the account. So, so, you know, I'm getting refunded. And they've always, like, that two other times it's happened, they're good about doing that um, pretty quickly. So I'm not worried about it. It almost makes me think, like, well, now I have, like, $18 to go spend, but no, I can't think like that. I, I just wanted to do, because my lipstick from earlier came off, I actually kind of, my eye, my primer, and this is one of the big reasons um, I like to let my primer set for so long, because I'm noticing that my eyeshadow is not, it's creasing, and my eyeshadow does not crease with primer potion. So you have to, it's a good idea to let your, put while you're like doing your face makeup, you know, but some people do, do their eyes first. So say you're going to do your eyes first. Put your primer on and then like go chill out for like, you know, a good 15 minutes or so before you um, put on your actual eyeshadow because it does tend to crease if you don't let the shadow, or the primer set for um, a bit. But, um, I, I am getting, I, I did get another view on my tutorial. Um, for tomorrow's tutorial, I already know a look, and I'm probably going to do that look. So, it's kind of, it's going to be inspired by, um, tutorial so um because I did I, I like I have some daffodils out in the back um my rosebush it's not blooming yet um I was thinking cherry blossoms it's just that there's like I've really tried looking online and I found some like amazing flowers but like a lot of them it doesn't say the name you know so I'm not gonna do a makeup especially with flowers I don't want to do, do a tutorial and not have the name of the flower I'm going to still try to keep looking before the night is over um to like find a flower and go oh, okay and this has a name and I can really look at it look at the colors and figure out how to do the look um, but as of right now my fallback is a flower look that I've already done but I want to get to what we're doing I'm going to do a review of that NYX set with the um 
lipstick, the lip liner, the lipstick, and the gloss. Because I've never been a big fan of these. But when I swatched it, it did seem so I don't know if the one the pencils that I bought before maybe they were really old or something maybe they have been sitting there for a long time and nobody bought them so I don't know <laughs> but first I need to moisturize so I'm gonna just put some of this on real quick and we'll see because my eyeshadow, eyeshadow today is kind of a uh, it's like a grayish I've used it from my Shawnee palette it's kind of a um, I want to say like it's got some gray in there it's, it's it's faded like I really should have maybe put some blush on just because like it, I it's my fast makeup look so you know I don't have any blush on or contour on and body blue so now I'm gonna go in with the lip liner um, in citrine and it's kind of a like a pinkish light pinkish purpley I'm gonna do my cupid's bow first and I'm gonna show you guys a trick afterwards I wanted to do it yesterday I forgot and just line see with when you moisturize first it's definitely a lot lighter, but um, if I hadn't of moisturized my lips, it could be like getting cakey and falling apart. So it's if you're gonna put a lip liner on, make sure your lips are moisturized. Yeah, see, it's not too dark. I have Mario Brothers stuck in my head. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And then I'm going to take the side. Now, normally you don't have to do this, but I, I like to do this. I'm going to color it in. Using the side. And I don't have to do it too much because I moisturize, so I'm getting already you can see color and like you can even just go out with this if you wanted just a real pale lip looks good I don't know for sure that this is the lipstick that went with it I'm almost I'm pretty sure it is it's fusion I remember it being like a light purpley color but I got kind of a few of these colors but I mean I want to review the lipsticks anyway so I'm basically reviewing the lipstick fusion as well for right now I'm very happy with the lip liner the lip liner was in so it's a pencil it's not retractable and this one was in citrine citrine's actually supposed to be more of a you would think more of an orangey color Oh, I like. And I like how these fit to your lip. 
Nice. I don't wear very much plums, but this is really nice. And it's not going on too harsh. Unbelievably creamy. So, like, even just that would be perfect. And then we're going to take that Mega Shine Gloss and and this is a potent gloss so I might need to kind of kick back on it Look at the bottom lip. Now that's dark. Oh my god, I love it. This side is not going on all the way, so I kind of have to Why is it doing that? I really don't like to smack my lips with gloss. Application's a little difficult on this color. Because it like... Un, like it's making the bottom lip there wasn't any problems but when I was putting it on the top lip it seemed to like make blank spots but um like this lip gloss alone by itself would probably be perfect any of those by themselves are perfect but that is a gorgeous color and it shows off pretty bright on camera so you can imagine what it looks like in real life. Now I want to show you guys a little trick I learned um, from watching somebody else do this. I'm going to take eyeshadow yeah that's what I said eyeshadow. I want to use like almost a pencil brush and I'm gonna dip it huh, you guys can't see like today I'm wearing this eyeshadow right here that kind of grayish silvery color but we're gonna go in with let's do this little matte white down here right down there ah you guys can't see right there let's put on just the tiniest bit on flick it so it's not so harsh take your mirror and we're literally going to put this right above our cupid's bow and it makes it like makes your lip pop. I saw it in another tutorial and was like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? So there we have it. Beautiful color. So do I like these products? Yes. 
Um, let's do like a little individual review. Um, lip liner, love it. Works great after you've moisturized. The lipstick works great with the lip liner. You can use either of these by themselves, I think. This, love, love, love the color. However, applying it to the top lip, it was blanking out some spots. So you kind of want to put this on, like don't do it super fast. You know, especially if you're putting it over um, a lipstick because you don't want to have little blank spots on your lip. It didn't do it on the bottom, but it did it on the top. So you have to kind of like go back in and almost like blot it onto your lip on the spots that it was um, not wanting to stay. So, yeah, I love these. I, I love them all. Um... And the gloss, it probably, like, if you wear it by itself, and it's a great bright color to wear by, by itself, you probably wouldn't even need to worry about um, it doing that if you're wearing it by itself. So, for lip liner in Citrine, A+. Plus. Lipstick infused Fusion, A+. Plus. Lip gloss, the Mega Shine lip gloss, and do could do what is it again? African Queen. It's an African Queen. Beautiful color, beautiful color. Just you need to, um, if you're applying it over any lipstick or any lip other lip product. Just make sure you're not getting any blank spots. So this one's going to get an A minus. So, yeah. Which is still better than just an A. You know. Not an A plus. It's A plus for color. Love the color. But application wise, really take your time with it. So that's our... Next review, um, I'll be reviewing, um, maybe I'll do one of the pigments or the blush, the mascara or something, you know, I'll be trying to do reviews on all this stuff because I have other stuff too that I, you know, I need to do reviews on all this stuff. So, like, I'm not going to put any of that stuff away until I've done a review. But, um, for as far as these colors, love them. Alright, guys. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Um, please keep watching. Um, the more views I get and the more subscribers I get, the closer we get to having that website. So... Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Cause I know you like watching. I've got, I've got a long, you know, a good amount of views. So please subscribe because it's not really my choice that I don't have a website right now. <laughs> but no, really, please subscribe, and I do appreciate my subscribers, my viewers. I love you all and on Fab Gab. So thank you everybody. Thank you to my new follower today on um, Fab Gab. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, keep it coming. Keep keep it coming, keep it coming, and it'll just get better. I promise. So have a great night, evening, afternoon, and a fantastic day. Bye guys. Thanks.